Hello, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you. Today I want to tell you about an absolute gem that has come to the East Point, Georgia community, which is right outside of Atlanta. It's the Black Art in America Gallery and Sculpture Garden. And let me tell you, this place is absolutely magical. I had the opportunity to visit on their grand opening weekend, which was the Juneteenth weekend. And the company Black Art in America has actually been around for some years, but this is their first gallery opening in the Atlanta area. And it's the brainchild of renowned artist Najee Dorsey and his wife Soteria Dorsey. And it is absolutely amazing. So come along with me as I tour the gardens and gallery and I hope you enjoy.
During the grand opening weekend, they offered guided tours of the gardens, and this lovely young lady was our tour guide, and she educated us on all the plants and the flowers in the gardens and their origins and uses. types of music and like exchanging and combining music and arts throughout the Northeast, the Midwest, and the West of the United States. So you see jazz, you see rock and roll, you see hip hop later on, like all of these new sorts of music coming onto the scene because African Americans and people who came and migrated from outside of um, the African American South are bringing parts of their culture um, to the scene. So we're celebrating the Great Migration here and if you turn around opposite you will see these lovely plants that are colocations. They're also known as taro. So speaking of the Great Migration, these plants are here. Elephant ears some people call them. Yeah, um, they're in the family of a plant that is actually uh, edible and has been um, used for millennia it seems like uh, throughout the Caribbean, parts of Africa, Hawaii, um, a lot of places and it goes by the name of Taro if you're familiar. So um, yeah we're celebrating all of the migration. Um, on the way out we'll look at some of the trees that we have on display as well. They're in the cedar family so you'll see some of the eastern red cedars and the northern cedars. cedars. We have the sweet potato vines. I am obsessed with sweet potato vines. I don't know how y'all feel about them. They just take over and they're so beautiful. And then you get food at the end. But in addition to the sweet potato, um, thinking about how much it has nourished our people for centuries. Um, also thinking about the work that Zora Neale Hurston has done to document our culture, our history um, throughout the country and the world. Um, Zora has done anthropological work in Harlem, um, in Gullah Geechee culture such as um, Buford, South Carolina, um, Louisiana, Haiti, like Zora has gone everywhere and documented our people um, and we wanted to celebrate her. So we have Zora on display along with a lot of other maternal and ancestral um, shout outs as well. So I hope you enjoyed this image that we are celebrating and trying to work on is building up the soil here so that we can actually move our plants around and the plants that we put here in one season will be different next season and they'll exchange different nutrients in the soil and um, disease, antibiotics and a bunch of really great things. So we have all these ornamentals. Some will stay, some will move around a little bit. If you come back and see something's in a different place, it's because we're building up our soil and that's gonna be an act of resistance. Um, it's a political act to show that, you know, we're not doing monocultures anymore. We're not being forced to work this land for profit. Um, we're actually doing it for the love of it, um, to build it up and to, to have an exchange. So yeah, that's what we're doing here in the Vaya Sculpture Garden. I hope you enjoy all of the art that's on display. And if you have a question about any of the plants, please let me know. There's some.